Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I know you see this box again behind me. I have an Ulta haul for y'all. And you know what it because uh, Black Friday just passed, Cyber Monday just passed. So I got a lot of good sales and a lot of good things that I've been dying to get and share with you guys. So let's jump in. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> the first thing that I got was this Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray been dying to get this it says it's supposed to have up to a 16 hour wear which is super important in case you have like um events to go to or you like going something doing something in the morning and then doing something later on at night you need your makeup to last you so this is very important um okay so let's see it says 78 percent of participants said that they all night to help their makeup last so that's a good amount so let's see what it looks like hi welcome to the family <laughs> uh oh i dropped something i don't know what came out but whatever it says urban decay all night a makeup setting spray and this is what she looks like cute packaging i mean i don't know if she has a smell oh there's another cap okay so two caps keep the thing fresh kind of smells like a little bit like baby powder so super interested to find out how that is and okay so the next thing that i got okay let me do this because this is gonna annoy me and this is a huge topic, so i can't i'm gonna be dipping in this thing for a hot minute so don't don't mind that if you saw that don't worry about that okay we're gonna get to that the next thing is the Urban Decay Opti Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. It's soothing and it has rosehip and argan oil. And it's pore perfecting. Okay, so we'll, we'll rock with that. Let's see what she looks like. And this is a primer. And I've been so into primers because I've noticed like a primer will make or break your makeup. Seriously, it'll uh, like, um, I have a couple, we'll get into a primer video, video um, in a while, but... It really does make a difference this is what it looks like this is what the cat looks like so good it's a pump cap I like that so optical illusion Matter of fact, what does she say that she's supposed to do she is supposed to that's French reduce pores have smoother skin have even toned skin and have a reduction in fine lines and blemishes. Okay, so this is the optical illusion. Okay, the next thing I got from Urban Decay was this self-adjusting complexion primer, which is I thought was so cool because it's supposed to have like a shine control and it um it helps make your whole complexion nice and even. Um, and that's supposed to be no matter what type of year it is. It's just, this is just the primer that acts you know on its own and i thought that was so cool super advanced <clears throat> and important because you know you have to buy different products at different times of the year so just know that this will do its job like on its own and you don't have to deal with that that's pretty dope hold on can y'all see i'm sorry this lighting i'm still getting used to i'm not like a professional or anything like that but there oh there she goes there self-adjusting so i'm interested to try this out and see how she works for me because i love a good primer especially when it gets my makeup all together so adapting pigments soft focus effect and shine control i'm down with that all right so i'm just gonna go in randomly no specific order now, y'all know I love me some Milani because I love their packaging so much. <clears throat> this box is going to annoy me. It's called the Gilded Desires. So, it has brilliant golds, gleaming bronzes, and rich, warm berries. And who doesn't love that kind of uh, palette? So, let's see what she's giving us. And I hope you guys don't mind me opening things up on camera. I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that it's new and that I'm opening up with you. And she comes all wrapped in this. Oh, this light is like not working. 
this thin kind of styrofoam love milani packaging always do it's gold all the way around but it's like a plastic so it's not gonna fade and it's not gonna rust or do anything crazy like ladies i'm pissed do you see how it came bro i'm sorry i don't want to blind you but look how it came broken look how it came broken really and it's supposed to have two highlighters it has this one crush shade i don't know how to fix that i wish i knew maybe i could repress it we'll figure it out but super cute like nudes and everything like that let me turn this light down a little bit y'all hope you don't mind no that's bad okay that's a little bit better so maybe you can see the color better again i'm getting used to this whole thing so yeah man no smell maybe i could re this is the the culprit right here in the corner anyway i'm not even excited about that anymore the next thing that i got was the Too faced born this way powder which i am very excited about and i got translucent medium let's open her up and see how she is <clears throat> So it says Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder, Translucent Medium. And the color, I think, is just along my lines. And this is supposed to set, you know, your face. I'm going to set my face with this. Translucent Medium, I think, is good for my face. Normally, you get like a shy kind of, a shade shy, a shade lighter to do your under eyes because you want that to be nice and bright and then the rest of your face a different kind of color but i like the fact that it has this cap on it that you pop open and then you know the holes are in the shape of a heart that's really cute oops i just dusted my whole foot with that but yeah and there is the color ladies can you see here she is i think that's gonna be perfect for me to set my face with and i'm been super into powders on the eye powders translucent powders setting your face powders everything so that is going to be interesting now you guys know i am a two-faced whore hmm. i had to get it just because it goes with my collection so it's the chocolate uh gold palette and it's metallic and matte eye shadow palette made with 100 natural cocoa butter which i really like i love that about their products it's like natural and it smells so good now how about this packaging y'all look at that wow <laughs> love it so far i mean that's pretty cool hope she doesn't fade or uh, rust on us <gasps> oh, 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 okay let's get that out your way oh metallics glitters who doesn't love that gorge can't wait to try that out you want to see a couple swatches let's do let's do the green it's called money bags is the green feels nice nice little swatch on the fingers and let's see it on your hands definitely lighter than it swatches out definitely lighter. and chocolate gold is one of the biggest shadows that they have in this which i'm looking forward to because i love to put a gold eye on and i'm trying not to do it so much but i can't help myself Oh, uh, kill him dead. Okay, Two Face. Go ahead and do that. Yes, look at that goal. Stop it. Should I do one more, you guys? Yes, I think um, Live in Lab. No, let's do New Money. She's a nice, bright pink with sparkles. And watch the nails again. Did I get that in? I didn't get it good. Okay, let's go ahead and get into her. She's all right. You probably have to build this one up. Um, it's not as nice as the chocolate gold, which was the one swatch, but I guess it's because you have more to swipe on, so I don't know. Can't wait to try this out and love to have her in my collection. Now, you guys know I have to wipe my fingers because I have other things to show you, and this was like a mean hole. Like, there's a mansion in this box. 
you know? And I decided to treat myself, so there you go. Oh, the next thing I got from Too Faced was this sugar cookie uh, palette. So excited to try her out. And this is what she looks like. And I know it looks the same with this lighting, but I'm telling you. Oh, there, there, there. There, there you can tell that this is a pink and this is a silver. So it's a cute little palette to have. You can travel around with it. Let's swatch this, like, bronzy, reddish kind of color. Oh, oh, chunky. She is very chunky. I don't know how that's going to play out, but let's see. kind of have to be careful with that but it's that is a nice color payoff wow <gasps> that is a beautiful color payoff when you dip your finger first in or probably when you dip your brush into there's gonna be a lot of like fallout so just be careful maybe you might have to wet your brush first before dipping it into that color but the pigment is incredible love that <sighs> and let me just say i have a whole bunch of this in here oh this is actually a bag that has two things in it so what am i saying this let's get her open so i got another thing for the skin this is the honey do me up by nyx and it's made in south korea so this is a primer that you're supposed to use um, before you put your foundation on and it's supposed to give you a nice little glow and really hydrate the skin so we're gonna try this out I'm so excited for this and I got this on a good sale I remember they giving me like maybe five dollars off for this so yes we'll take that and the next thing that came in this bag even though it's not NYX is this Milani conceal and perfect foundation so a little story about this is i got the because i love all their other makeup products so much i wanted to try the foundation and i got it in um number seven and number seven was way too light for me it did not do anything for me so i needed something darker and for some reason they didn't have this in my cvs like come on cvs where is your shade range at least for this anyway. They have Sheen Rages and a bunch of other brands. But for some reason, Milani, they did not have it. So, <clears throat> I'm really hoping that this will be my shade. Um, let's see how she looks. Let's go ahead and put her here. Even though this is a little... Oh, it takes a couple pumps up. So once she gets it blended out, and keep in mind this is darker. I mean, light. This part of my body is lighter than my whole the whole rest of my body. But I think she may work, and I might have if I have to mix her, then I'll mix her. But we're gonna try it out. Let me just get this off my hand, you guys. I wanna have clean surfaces because I have much more things to show you because I went in on this little Ulta haul that I did for Black Friday, because I don't really buy too many things. So when Black Friday comes around and makeup is concerned, I just be like, yes. The next thing that I got was two other things from Milani. Now this is number two, the translucent medium to deep, and this is number three, the translucent banana powder, because again, I've been obsessed with the powders, setting the face, making sure that shit is a bulletproof, um, not going anywhere, not getting uh, oily, wet, none of that stuff. So that's what I'm obsessed with. I'm obsessed with trying to find the perfect powder. So hopefully one of these will be it. And those are the shades. She's looking like a good match. Got two of those.
been dying to try this the nyx nyx can't stop won't stop prime primer so it's supposed to be a matte primer you guys know i love a matte face because i'm very oily and i will get very shiny easily so anything matte is like yes for me the nyx can't stop won't stop and just see how she looks let's just open it up why don't we they have a, a clear sticker here that makes it hard for okay watch out now don't cut yourself pop her right open okay black and white packaging i know you guys have seen this before i'm so excited to try this i love again a good matte primer so yeah this is 0.84 fluid ounces so yeah that's that some more paper nothing in there some more paper nothing in there just to make sure that everything is nice oh so when i got the primer i went to the foundations and you know i had to try the foundation so let's open these babies up so i did get a bunch of different colors because i'm kind of hard to match and that's just a fact. I know a lot of people say that, but it's honestly the truth. Like, I'm olivey, I'm warm, I'm just a whole bunch of different things. And so I like to get different things for also the different seasons because you're lighter in, you know, winter and fall than you are in summer and spring. So, yeah. I got three different shades, so I'll be able to mix these three to get my perfect shade no matter how dark I get. I got honey, I got golden, and I got golden honey. They're supposed to be up to a 24-hour matte finish, which means a lot to me because I, I need matte finish. And I'm going to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and show you the colors. So, this is Golden Honey. Just a little bit more yellow. That's Golden Honey. This is Honey. And this is golden. So yeah, let me line them up side by side. You see this one is warmer, this one is a little bit more um, neutral, and this one is a way more yellow. So I think between the three of these, I can maybe get my perfect shade. Which I'm maybe add a little bit more of this than this, or whatever the case may be. So excited to try those. I heard good things about those. Um, <clears throat> oh, the next thing I got was these two Milani products. Scissors. Now, this is a blush that I got. It comes in a trio. It's the Floral Fantasy Number Two Rose Powder Blush. Love the packaging of Milani. So excited to try their blush. And I got this Holographic Beams Stella Lights Highlighter Palette. So, I'm going to try and get you the right color. Okay, so here you can see. You see how this one is like a bluey kind of tint. This one's more orange. This one's pink. Excited to try that. Again, I told you guys I was so obsessed with primers. Um, so I got two more primers. One's mattifying and one's hydrating. Now, Ulta was having a sale where I got a couple things for free. So I believe I bought one of these and got this one free. So excited to use these. Now, this is the um, mattifying face primer. It's oil-free and controls shine, which I super need. Um, it creates a perfect base to help extend the wear of makeup. Perfect. That's what we all want. Reduces shine. This one has coconut water. And this is the hydrating face primer. It has coconut water in it and aloe vera. So I got, I bought one, got one free. Which they should give you something free. We spend all this money. Oh, I spent a certain amount. I think it was maybe $35 on Milani. And they gave me this, this for free. 
how cute. Okay, scissors. Let's get this baby open. This is a Milani. Oh, this is really nice. And it's nice quality too. Like you could probably wipe this clean. Cause you know how important that is for a makeup bag. So if I really get her in her shape, this is how thick she is. That's what she looks like. That's how thick she is. Now let's open this baby up. And they gave you a couple of gifts for free. So that's in here, I'll put it there. That's what the inside looks like. Super cool. Oh my goodness, wow. They gave us some good gifts here, you guys. So it came in a plastic bag. It came in a plastic bag. And this is the Make It Last setting spray. So I'm gonna open it up and show you. Wow. It's supposed to prime, correct, and set. It's a 16 hour wear, make it last. It's a lightweight spray that locks in makeup up to 16 hours and it keeps the color from fading and setting into creases. Very important. Now, the next thing I, that I got was this beautiful lip gloss. It's in Luminoso, which is one of my favorite blushes by them actually. And it's a lip plumper. That's the color. And you know, I'm a little nervous to do like cosmetic things that alter my face. So it says a plump, it's a plumper, so I wonder how that's gonna work out. But we'll try it. She's a nice addition to the collection, a really nice color. And then the next thing that I got was a blush. And this is the color and you know she's smaller compared compared to the other rose blushes that I've seen I don't have any in my collection but this is nice it's a rose powder blush silky soft powder blush that delivers the perfect amount of color and easily blends onto the cheeks so yes ma'am we'll take it oh um I did get this I did get this eye primer. This is one of the things that I got for free. I got one other thing from Ulta that, oh, 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 here. This, I got the Melissa Michelle Bling On The Glam Eyeshadow Palette. Um, XOXO Ulta Beauty. Now this is Melissa Michelle. She's another YouTuber. And she came out with a palette. And I got, because I got this, I got this free. So I believe it was you buy one Ulta product, you get one free. You buy one Ulta product, you get one free. And these four were the only thing that, ooh, that interested me, which is that eye primer. And this, the two other face primers, the hydrating and the matte. So yeah, and I got this baby. And so she's got a mirror, which we can appreciate. And these are the colors. So a pop of color here with the green. Got some nice neutral shades, some warm shades. You got a lip gloss here, I believe that is. As well as a brush. Now, let me do a couple swatches on this. And everything's stickered down, so I have to kind of... Oh, oh, Lord, I just cut the sheet of paper. Didn't mean to do that. Whatever. I'm not going to use that piece of thing. Whatever. Anyway. So this is what she looks like. Don't look at the mirror, y'all. Let's go ahead and swatch this green. It's like a green glitter. Um, this manifest looks very chunky for glitter, but let's swatch. Oh, yeah. <gasps> wow. Oh, she kind of dusts off. You're going to need to use this with like 
some sort of you're definitely going to need to use this with either a spray or a glitter glue that will give you the most pigment off of that let's dip into bro which is something similar but doesn't look as chunky and this is yeah more finely milled it's not big chunks let's swatch over here and i get nothing really and she's kind of like pulling up like you're gonna need to use these glitters in this palette with some sort of uh fixing agent because they don't swatch and they don't they're not creamy at all like that's the green one the green one's right there let's try her again this is the green where did i put the green yeah you can probably build the green up um but so far the formula on this is not the best but the color is cool and i think the shade selection is really nice because you can use it for every day you can really glam it up but you do need other tools for this to use this palette properly now let's go ahead and get into this gloss if i can get her out i don't know how to get her out oh there we go there we go there's a little ribbon that you pull to pull the item out here because you might maybe you might not be able to get it out Melissa Michelle. Oh, this is a liquid liner. It's not a gloss. And let's watch this puppy. Come on here. Liquid liner. How, this is more like a gloss. How is this a liner? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. What do you think? That's a gloss to me. That's not a liner. And it's in Zang. That's the name of it. Like, Zang. This is a... Okay. So, yeah. That's that. I mean, the, the, the brush that comes in this palette is the little sponge thing that we all throw away. We Like, we who even uses these anymore? I don't use them. And that is what it looks like. But maybe that will give this glitter a better payoff. Yeah, kind of. Either way, I'm not really impressed by this palette. I think she could have done a better job. So, and it says bling on the glam. So yeah, okay y'all, that is all that I got from Ulta. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. It ended up being almost 30 minutes. I'm sorry if you guys got bored. But yeah, I have plenty more hauls because I kind of went in for, again, Black Friday and whatever. So yeah, stay tuned for some more hauls. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye. <laughs>